Hey guys, today I filmed another butt only workout. All you need is a barbell. But if you have a barbell, you can do this at home or you can do this body weight if you want. As always, the sets and reps and exercises will be in the description box below. This was a really good workout. I felt a nice pump, nice tightness in my butt by the time I was done. For this workout, you wanna go medium weight. You don't wanna go too heavy because it's all about mind to muscle connection. I find if you go too heavy, then you're just focusing on getting the right technique, getting the weight up, versus actually engaging the right muscle. So for me, when I go slower, and a little bit lighter, I'm gonna feel way more in my butt. Without further ado, let's get to the video. Hey, beautiful people. All right, so we're starting with a Bulgarian split squat. And actually today I was trying to keep my chest up as like straight as I could. I wasn't going too low, just really trying to engage my butt, pushing into the heel, waking up one side and then going on to the other. And then I was doing a superset, so one exercise went right into this uh, second exercise, good mornings. These are a great way to stay light in weight but still activate your butt. You want to keep a flat back and just kind of hinge your chest forward. Your back should still be straight here when you go down, squeeze your butt in. So after doing four rounds of that, I moved on to a, just a lightweight hip thrust. So here I was just trying to focus on mind to muscle connection, squeezing my butt. And I did like 20 reps here since the weight was really light. But I just want to make sure that I was feeling in my butt and not the top of my thighs. If I go too heavy too soon, then I will feel it in the wrong area. With no break, I grabbed the bar and I did front squats where your elbows are supposed to be up by your shoulders, they should not peek down. Mine are peeking down slightly. I haven't done this movement in a while and I just, I didn't feel too strong on it, hence why I didn't go up in weight from here. I did 15 reps and then I repeated that two exercise combo four times before moving on. Then I did a side lunge. You don't see a lot of people do this type of move to build your butt. But if you look at most tennis players, they all have really nice butts. <laughs> and this was one of the exercises that we did all the time. So pretty much hitting your butt from the inside outside angle. So pushing into my heel, letting my butt go back. So making sure your back is straight, your chest is out. So straight line from your neck to your shoulders to your hips. And then I moved right on to the curtsy lunge. So I find this one really great to isolate the glutes. I like doing it after the side lunge because it's, it's really makes sure that my butt's working and not my quad and I push into my heel. So the leg that you step out with for the side lunge is the leg that stays steady for the curtsy lunge. So the last superset were these sumo deadlifts. This is my favorite style of deadlift. And just to kind of understand the technique, um, the way I like to simplify it is you take a sumo wide plie stance, so feet are wide, toes are pointed out, and you push your knees out to try and be in line with your small toe, and it's almost like you're doing a squat, pushing your butt back. So you want to keep your chest open, but it's normal for your chest to fall over slightly, as long as your hips to shoulders to neck is all still in alignment. And then I superset that with the Romanian deadlifts. This is a little bit more common style. So here, you're still digging your heels into the ground to always activate your butt, but you have to mentally think of squeezing your butt. You can see that I'm really squeezing at the top. You wanna to squeeze from the end all the way in. Make sure you're activating abs are tight and only go as low as you can stay in a straight line from the shoulders to the hips. constantly changing out my workouts. I just wake up, decide what I'm gonna do that day, you know, whether I'm gonna lift or not, and then I decide kind of where I'm gonna go in the gym. I always have an idea, I write down a few things, but sometimes it changes depending on how busy the gym is, how my body feels once I start moving. 
but over time, like I can quickly come up with this stuff on the spot. So if you're new, you wanna have it already written down and you just wanna follow it to a T. Follow it to a T if you're not in the habit of making sure you can stay accountable for a full workout. Because if you're new and you're just doing what you wanna do, you might just finish too early, not get all the sets in that you're supposed to get in. So make the plan before you go to the gym. Sometimes I do single legs, sometimes I do both legs, and I actually felt really good to do those deadlifts, especially the sumo ones, the first ones. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye.